Modifiers, we're talking about both adjectives and adverbs. We are talking about anything that modify, anything that modify. Right now, we're going to look at a kind of, uh, at first, a, um, we're going to say a video to talk about the modifier. Then we're going to go to the lesson to describe in detail about the modifier, and we're going to answer together. So let's go first. To the modifier, the adjective and adverb modifier convention. Okay, grammar tutorial. So we need the modifier. Okay, as I told you that the adjective and adverb phrases are modifier. So let's watch them. And then as I told you, we're going to go to each one of them. Adjective phrase or adverb phrase, and also here include the prepositional phrase. And we're going to talk about the participles because they are modifiers. Adjective and adverb phrases. The snowboarder won the competition. The mountain was a challenge. Wait, I should clarify those statements. The snowboarder with the fastest time won the competition. The mountain with all the Is screen shown anything in, in front of you? Those two prepositional phrases. Okay. Yes. Adjective and adverb phrases. The snowboarder won the competition. The mountain was a challenge. Wait, I should clarify those statements. The snowboarder with the fastest time won the competition. The mountain with all the obstacles was a challenge. Those two prepositional phrases, with the fastest time and with all the obstacles, make a big difference. They function as adjectives and therefore are called adjective phrases. Adjective phrases modify nouns or pronouns by telling what kind, which one, which snowboarder, the one with the fastest time, which mountain, the one with all the obstacles. Some prepositional phrases function. Prepos some prepositional phrases function. I want to do to identify something here. As you can find here, with the fastest time is a prepositional phrase, but it acts as an adjective modifier because it modifies the snowboarder. The teacher talked about the dangling and misplaced modifier. The misplaced modifier when with the fastest time come after competition. Let's read it together. We're going to say the snowboarder won the competition with the fastest time. Now, with the fast time, describe or modify competition. That it's wrong. It's wrong. It's not the competition with the fast time. It must be the snowboarder with the fastest time. Because of that, when you find the modifier, not in its place, you have to be sure. And we studied this on the EST course. You have to be sure that follow the word that modify, that the misplaced. Obstacles. Some prepositional phrases function as adverbs by modifying a verb. For example, the sentence, my friends and I descend, isn't very descriptive. An adverb phrase used to describe the verb descend would help. My friends and I descend before nightfall. Adverb phrases describe where, when, in what way, or to what extent something happened. Something like doing a snowboarding run. The adverb phrase before nightfall describes when my friends and I descend. Next time you want to make your writing clearer or describe how a sport is played, 
You'll probably want to use adjective and adverb phrases. So now we know that the modifiers can be adjective or adverb. Let's go to something that talk about dangling and misplaced modifier. Dangling, it's a kind of participle. Dangling, it's a kind of participle. What does it mean? The participle and what the difference between participle and gerund? Take care of that. The participle, it's a form of a verb, but it's not a verb. That end with ing, ed, or en. That become in the beginning of the sentence. And it doesn't modify the word that come after the comma. Like... Talking to my mom, comma, the cat. How the cat? How the cat talking to my mom? It must be talking to my mom, I. Talking to my mom, he. Talking to my mom, my father. Because of that, we call it dangling. So again, the modifier, the participle, it's a form of verb, but it's not a verb that ends with ing, ed, or em. The difference between participle and gerund Gerent act as a noun. It's not with us here. Gerent act as a noun. Like, right, driving a car is my hobby. Driving a car here, it's a noun. It's not a participle. It's not a modifier. Take care of that. And we talk about the misplaced. Let them just talk more about that. Dangling and misplaced modifiers. We found the torn dog's blanket under the stairs. Walking outside, the leash got tangled in the bushes. Wait, that doesn't sound right. The first sentence is saying the dog is torn, but it's actually the blanket that's torn. This is a misplaced modifier. That means that the modifier isn't in the correct place in the sentence. A word, phrase, or clause acting as a modifier, such as torn, must be correctly placed near the word it modifies which is blanket, not dogs. So what I meant to say was, we found the dog's torn blanket under the stairs. That's better. But the second sentence still doesn't make sense. Walking outside, the leash got tangled in the bushes. The leash isn't walking, the dog is. This type of misplaced modifier is a dangling modifier. Walking outside should modify the dog. After all, the dog was doing the walking. Instead, these words modify the leash. This modifier is left dangling out in front. As it reads now, the modifier, walking outside, is dangling out front incorrectly. How about, walking outside, the dog got tangled in the leash? There are several different types of misplaced modifiers. Prepositional phrases, participial phrases, and adjective phrases. Can you spot the misplaced modifier in these sentences? With a red ball is a misplaced prepositional phrase. Running through the kitchen is a misplaced participial phrase. Okay, just have a look here. Here we're talking about the misplaced modifier. That the part of modifier that come not in their places. They are not coming in their places. This here, he said the dogs were playing in the park with the red ball. With the red ball, now describe park. With the red ball, describe park. And this wrong. The same thing here. Running through the kitchen, this is a dangling modifier. He said floor. How running through the kitchen describe floor or modify floor? It must be modify something that is running. The same thing here. The dog food is the least expensive kind that Riffy likes most. The same thing, we have a problem in the modifier. Least expensive is a misplaced adjective phrase. Each of these can be corrected in the same way, by placing the modifier as close as possible to the word it modifies. The dogs were playing with a red ball in the park. Running through the kitchen, the dog slid on the wet floor. 
The least expensive dog food is the kind that Rufus likes most. All in all, the dog was fed, got to play, and mostly stayed out of trouble. So this for the mistakes of misplaced and dangle modifier. Don't forget that dangle modifier, it's a kind of phrase or participle that come in the beginning of the sentence, that it's a form of verb, but it's not a verb, that end with ing, ed, or en, and it doesn't modify what come after the come. This for the dangling and misplaced modifier. And as I told you, we're going to talk more about it. Again, let's see the dangling modifiers. More things. Dangling modifiers. A modifier is a word or phrase that describes something in a sentence. It can be as simple as an adjective. This is a red ball. Red is the modifier. I think there's one left. Okay, Adam. Modifier of ball. And it can be. There's lagging in the screen also. It's stand on dangling modifier. Let me just make refresh. Streamer Adam, you're here with us? Yes. Okay. Dangling modifiers. A modifier is a word or phrase that describes something in a sentence. It can be as simple as an adjective. This is a red ball. Red is the modifier of ball. And it can be a phrase or clause. The rapidly flowing waters carried it away. Okay, so what's this dangling thing all about? A dangling modifier is a phrase or word at the beginning of a sentence that unintentionally points to the wrong word in an independent clause. Here's an example. Fumbling the ball in the last two seconds of the game, the crowd booed the quarterback. As written, the sentence suggests that the crowd had fumbled the ball. Could happen, or maybe not logically, we can say the opening modifier dangles because it refers to the crowd, not to the quarterback. Here's a couple of ways you could fix the sentence. The crowd booed the quarterback who fumbled the ball in the last two seconds of the game. Or, having fumbled the ball in the last two seconds of the game, the quarterback heard the crowd's boos. Notice that these sentences solve the problem of a dangling modifier by making clear who was doing the fumbling? Stuffed under her bed, Brittany found her baseball bat and glove. Brittany was stuffed under the bed? As always, this sentence can be fixed with a bit of rearranging. Brittany found her baseball bat and glove stuffed under her bed. When fixing a dangling modifier, make sure that the logical subject is the grammatical subject of your main clause. Your writing will be clearer, and your modifiers will be dangle-free. So now he explained for us what does it mean by a modifier. It's a word or a phrase that modify a word, like an adjective or an adverb. The dangle modifiers, as we said, like the participial, come in the beginning of the sentence, but it doesn't modify the word that I come after the comment. I think now we're going to go to more details for dangling and misplaced modifier and modifier even, but I want to see if there's something talk about the modifier. Uh, here, the misplaced modifier. 
We talk about dangling. Let's talk about modifier, but nothing about modifier alone. Okay, let's find the misplaced modifier. Then we're going to go to more details. The misplaced modifier, the adjective word or the adjective phrase will not come exactly after the word that it modified. Misplaced modifiers. Have you ever misplaced your modifier? Don't you hate it when that happens? Quick reminder, a modifier is just what it sounds like. A word, usually an adjective, that tells us something about the subject of a sentence. When it is misplaced, it can unexpectedly change the meaning of a sentence. Groucho Marx said, One morning I shot an elephant in my pajamas. How he got into my pajamas, I'll never know. The modifier here is in my pajamas. This is one of the examples that I wrote it on the booklet for the EST. Because here he said, One morning I shot an elephant in my pajamas. So how in my pajamas now modify elephant? It must be I. In my pajamas, it must be modify I. I, the one that in my pajamas. It's misplaced only if you think it's unlikely that the elephant was wearing them. We may never know. More common misplaced modifiers are unexpectedly silly. Because the race passed by downtown at lunchtime, the crowd cheered on the runners in their skirts and suits. What? The runners are running in their skirts and suits? The video game took his complete attention while he was sitting on the couch set in an alien space station. Wait, he was sitting on his couch that is in an alien space station? Misplaced modifiers change the meaning of the sentence away from what you want to say. It's a common mistake, and it's easy to fix. Most often, the trick is to move the modifier closer to the subject. Because the race passed by downtown at lunchtime, the crowd, dressed in skirts and suits, cheered on the runners. The video game set in an alien space station took his complete attention while he was sitting on the couch. When we move the modifier closer to the subject, the confusion disappears, along with the humor. One morning, I was wearing my pajamas when I shot an elephant. But that's okay, we can't all be Groucho. Okay, so now let's go to more detail about the modifiers. And we're gonna start answering together. So if you can find places, something, a modifier. Okay, we have here the modifier. We have here the modifier misplaced and dangling. They, they are after each other. Let's start with the general information about modifiers. We know that modifiers are adjectives and adverbs. Or it's a word that modify a noun or modify a verb or modify another adjective. So here, what is an adjective? An adjective is a word that describes a noun or a pronoun. Adjectives are often called modifiers because they modify or change the meaning of the noun or pronoun. An adjective usually answers the question, what kind, which one, how many, or how much. About the noun or pronoun described, because the adjective that is a modifier, modify a noun or a pronoun. In the chart below, each adjective modifies the noun that comes after, like here, green dress. So green is a modifier. Serious book, this idea, and the care. Here, what kind, here, which one. This, that, these, those. This idea about they must come after them a noun. This idea, those writers. It can be how many numbers. Two times, silver copies. How much, like no rainfall, enough money. We're going to take more examples how adjectives modify a noun or a pronoun, like you can find here. In sentences, adjective may appear right before the word. Take care. It must be before the word it modified, because if it's not before or after it, we are going to call it misplaced modifier. 
as predicate adjective after linking verbs. And in various other positions, more than one adjective may appear, may be used to describe the same word. Like this one, this example, the adjective right before the word described. Beautiful tree, beautiful tree. So beautiful described tree. We can say beautiful willow. Here, the healthy, beautiful tree, the same thing. And this we call it coordinate adjective. I like your school because actually they relate all the lesson that they are teaching to EST. Healthy, beautiful. What are they? They are two adjectives that describe tree that we can use and between them, but instead we put comma. And instead we put comma because we call them coordinate adjectives. Here, other adjective, but come after M is R or verb to be. The tree is beautiful and healthy. Can we say beautiful, comma, healthy? No. Beautiful, comma, healthy or coordinate adjective will come before the noun, not after verb to be. Like, it is beautiful. Here, a kind of adjective instead of phrases like pale and beautiful, the tree. So pale, beautiful, describe the tree. Pale, beautiful, describe the tree. Or here, the tree pale as a ghost. So pale here, describe the tree. Pale here, describe the tree. If you look here at the position, you're going to find that they are sticking to the noun that they modify. Sometimes you'll find the adjective come after the word describe. Like here, the gardener considered the tree beautiful. It can be the tr beautiful tree or tree beautiful. Adjective in exclamation. I know that it will come earlier or before the word describe, but also it's easy to fix how beautiful the tree is. So beautiful, modify the tree. We have also proper adjectives like Egyptian guy, American status. So like here, this is a noun. I traveled to Italy. So proper adjective, I met my Italian cousin. So Italian described cousins. I left on Sunday. Sunday here is a noun. I left on Sunday morning. So Sunday is an adjective or proper adjective that describe morning. Now we have also pronoun that use as an adjective. Like, do mine first. This is a possessive pronoun. But if I said my book, this is a possessive adjective. I knew that. No, this is demonstrative pronoun. Why we call it demonstrative pronoun, not demonstrative adjective? Because no noun come after it. Look at the difference. I knew that answer. That answer. The same thing here. What is it? This interrogative pronoun. How I'm going to make an interrogative adjective to bring a noun after it. What time is it? What time is it? The same thing for indefinite pronoun. Here, indefinite pronoun, not indefinite adjective. Each was memorable. So each nothing after it. It's a verb. But each day, it's a noun. We're not going to talk about the articles because it's not with you. And proper adjective, we talked about it before. Here we're talking about how we know that the word in front of me, it's an adjective or not. As you can find here, there's a noun. I scuffed my shoe. He told us the rule. If we have two nouns come after each other. If we have two nouns come after each other. The first noun, we consider it as an adjective. The first noun, we consider it as an adjective, like here. He is a show salesperson. So show here, a noun, salesperson is a noun. That means So show here, it's an adjective. Take care of that. The same thing that we consider the singular possessive a noun, but this also not with you. The adjective or the compound adjective, it can be written hyphenated, like five page report. This is an adjective. State of the art design is an adjective or combined like airborne pollen is an adjective or evergreen shrubs is an adjective or separated like North American continent is an adjective or New York City restaurant is an adjective. Let's go to part two and part two is also modifier. The adverb is a modifier. And the adverb here, it will modify a verb or an adjective or another adverb. So an adverb is a word that modify or describe a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. Like adjectives, adverbs are often called modifiers. Adverb that modify verb usually answer the question where, when, and what way, to what extent. Those that modify adjective 
or other adverb will answer this question. To what extent? Let's talk about the adverb that modify a verb that answer the question where. The Arctic put a window there. There modify put. There modify put. It ask the question where or answer the question where. Also when. Tomorrow the builder will finish the home. Tomorrow it's an adverb that modify will finish. Tomorrow is an adverb that modify will finish. Again, as modify verb, in what way? And most of what way, in what way, will end with L-Y. The electrician work carefully in the new home. So carefully modify work. To what extent? Again, he's going to say, the buyer fully approves of her new home. Fully modify approves. Not also, it's an adverb that modify the verb is installing, is installing. Adverb that modify an adjective, the new home is quite attractive. So quite here, modify attractive. And take care, attractive is an adjective that modify home. Adverb, modify another adverb, like the electrician works very carefully on the new home. So very, modify carefully. And carefully is an adverb, modify work. How can I differentiate between the adverb and adjective? Don't forget that both of them are modifier, but the adjective modify noun or pronoun, the adverb modify an verb, an adjective or another adverb. Like here, miners work hard. So hard modify work, that it's a verb, so it's an adverb. Miners perform many hard tasks. So hard modify tasks, hard modify tasks. So here, it's an adjective. Here he told us about the position and the, the main thing for the misplace and then the modifier. He told us that adverb, that modify adjective and other adverb usually appear right before them. However, though that modify verb may appear in various position in a sentence. In fact, one of the characteristics of many adverb is their ability to be moved without. Because of that, Misplaced and dangling modifier, it will be only for adjectives. Misplaced and dangling modifier, it will be only for adjectives, not for adverbs. But because Adam told me that she is going to talk about the whole modifier, so we have to know about the adverb also. So here, as you can find, silently modify tiptoed. Silently modify tiptoed. Look here, it came in the beginning of the sentence. Sometimes it came before the verb. Sometimes it come between the verb phrase. Has tiptoed. It come in the middle. Sometimes it come after the verb. Sometimes it come by the end. The adverb, no position for it. Some words can function as adverbs or adjectives. Take care. Some words can function as adverb or adjective, depending on the way they are used. Several words that function as adverbs may also be used as prepositions. There are even words that function as nouns that can also function in as ad adverb. Look here. The crowd gathered inside. I know that inside is a preposition. But here inside modify gathered and answer the question where. So it's an adverb. Look here. Here it's a preposition. The crowd gathered inside the theater. Why here it's a preposition? Because inside here is a preposition. Theater is object of the preposition. Inside the theater is a prepositional phrase. Take care of that. Adverb and noun. He saw them yesterday at the science fair. If you're going to look here, you find that yesterday answered the question when and modify the verb so. But here it's a noun. Act as a subject. Yesterday was a busy day. Don't tell me that there's an adverb. No, here it's a subject and as a noun. Take care also of the preposition that sometimes an adverb work together with a verb like look up, look at, look after. Up, after, at, they are no preposition. They are adverb. It's meaning. The verb and adverb may even took on a new meaning different from that of individual. Like here, take off, take off. You know that take has a meaning and take off another meaning. Take here, it's adverb. Off is an adverb. Stand up. Stand up, the same thing. Okay, comparative and superlative is not with you. Is that right, Adam? 
No, she didn't mention it. Okay. So now let's go to some exercises related to the modifier alone. And I'm going to start with the streamer Adam. Identify the adjective in each sentence. And I'm not going to say that you're right or wrong, except at the end. You know this game. Read and tell me where the adjective. Number one, streamer Adam. Okay. Read it loudly, all of it. Okay. Industrial pollution frequently produces smoke. Okay. Where is the adjective here? We have three words. Industrial, frequently, smog. The adjective, modify a noun or a pronoun. Uh, B. Frequently? Yeah. Are you sure? Well, frequently modify produces the verb, Adam. I'm talking about the adjective, a sifa. Okay, industrial, it looks like that it modified pollution. That it's a noun. Okay. Engineer Taha, read number two and tell me where the, the adjective, where is the adjective? Neighbors are sometimes nosy. Mm -hmm. uh, nosy. Maybe. Because nosy here, describe or modify neighbors. Okay. Streamer Adam again. Number three. Two students remained after school. Okay. Uh, care the adjective, modify a noun or a pronoun. <clears throat> remain. Remained has ED. What happened to you, Streamer Adam? Remained. Bakia. Remained. It's a verb. Huh? But it, uh, it describes uh, stu the students. Remain. Describe the students. When I ask you, what did the students do? They remain. It's a verb. But two streamer Adam, how many students? Two. Two modify or describe students. Clear? Okay. Okay. Shinir Taha, number four. How old fashioned suspenders seem. Mm hmm. Find the noun, find the noun, and then see what modified the noun or a pronoun. Uh, Old-fashioned. Old-fashioned describes suspenders. Perfect. Number five, streamer Adam. Where he was exhaustion, everyone returned home. Where he means tired. Hmm. A. Yes, wary. Modify everyone. Let's find. Okay. Let's go to part two, and it's going to be a little bit harder. Here, we need the adverb. The adverb that modify a verb, modify an adjective, or modify another adverb. Most of the adverbs end with L-Y. Most of the adverbs end with L-Y. Okay. Engineer Taha. Number one. A guard stood bravely at the last gate. Uh -huh. A. Bravely. Here, bravely, modify stood. Last is an adjective. Last gate. Last gate. What kind of gate last? Gate is a noun. Okay. Streamer Adam, number two. The engine made very little noise. Noise. Very. Very, because very modify the adjective little, and little is an adjective that modify noise. Okay, made is the verb. Thank you, Engineer Taha. The commuter arrived late for the earliest train. Mm -hmm. Late. We can say that late modify arrived. Late modify arrived. Earliest year, he said, or modify the train. So it's an adjective. 
Commuter is a noun. Number four, streamer Adam. The laundromat, the laundromat inside the hotel will soon reopen. Mm -hmm. So soon. Why? Because it modify will reopen. Why it's not inside, mister? You said because inside here come with the hotel. Inside the hotel is a preposition phrase. So inside is a preposition. If we don't have anything after inside, like the loader mat inside only, so we're going to say that maybe this is an adverb. And well is a part of a verb. Part of a verb. Thank you. Uh, Engineer Taha, number five. Cautiously, Ashley opened the old creaky door. A. Cautiously. It modify open. Creaky, it's an adjective, not adverb. Modify door. Old also, it's an adjective. Modify door. All the creaky, we call them coordinate adjective. Coordinate adjective. Thank you. Part three. A little bit harder. In each sentence, two words are underlined. One is either an adjective or an adverb. And the other is the word it modifies. Identify the adjective. You have to identify it. You tell me, there's an adjective or adverb in each sentence and the type of word it modify. Like it modify if it's an adjective, modify a noun or modify a pronoun. If it's an adverb, it modify a verb or modify an adjective or modify another verb. And it's underlined. So streamer Adam, we have sometimes and enjoys. Sometimes she enjoys the brisk days of winter. What do you think sometimes is what? Is it an adjective or an adverb? And if it's an adjective, it modifies this as a noun. Or if it's an adjective, it modifies this as a pronoun. Or if it's an adverb, it modifies this as a verb. Which one? I think it's B. It's an adjective modify a pronoun. Do you think that this is a pronoun? Enjoy is a pronoun. He, she, it, you, we. A pronoun? Yeah, it modifies she. No, she, he she give you the term. underline. He give you the underline, uh, streamer Adam. Look, he doesn't want from you to spend any time. He just want to tell me sometimes is what? Enjoys is what? I don't understand the, the question. Again, streamer Adam. Mm. She, I know that it's a pronoun, but it's not underlined. I need now to tell me the underline are what? Enjoys is what, streamer Adam? Is a verb. Okay. So now, sometimes is what? Is an adverb. Done. Sometimes is an adverb that modify enjoys, streamer Adam. Sometimes answer the question when. Adverbs answer the question when, where, how, okay, to what extent, like this, to what extent, sometimes. Clear? Okay. Okay. Uh, engineer Tom ran faster. Ran is what? Uh, verb. So faster. Adverb. So it's an adverb, modify a verb. Okay. Uh, streamer Adam, root and co comment. Comment is what? Is an adjective. No, no, no. Comment is not an adjective or adverb. Comment, it's whether a noun. Here it's not a verb. Here he said the root thoughtless comment hurt. Hurt is the verb. Comment here is a noun. So root is what? Adjective. Okay. What we call this streamer Adam? Root thoughtless. Two adjectives that connect by a comma. We call them what? Mm. Okay, engineer uh, Taha, do you remember? What? 
root, thoughtless, the two adjectives that connect by a comma. We call them what? I explained them. Connected adjective? No, coordinate adjective. Coordinate adjective. Don't forget, please. Coordinate adjective. So here it's an adjective, modify a noun. Streamer Adam. Horse is what? Horse is uh, noun. Okay, so which one now? A. Adjective? Because these are articles. A and the are articles that act as an adjective. The graceful horse dropped it around the ring. Okay, the last one is Streamer Adam. Almost never. Take care. Now, almost is an adverb, we are sure. Never is what? Never is a verb. Never is an adjective. Never is an, an another adverb. It's an adverb. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's go to more ones. As you can find here. You said drag the correct label to each underlined word in these sentences. Okay? So we need to drag whether now the one that is underlined here truly, truly, it's an adjective, adverb, or neither. Magnificent. Is it an adjective, adverb, or neither? I'm going to start with Engineer Ta. Truly is what? Choose from those. Uh, truly adverb. Perfect. Streamer Adam, magnificent is what? Adjective. Perfect. Okay, Streamer Adam, the greenhouses play exotic plants. Exotic here, it's what? Exotic, I think. I think it's Adam, uh, and I'm sorry, this Taha's turn or you? Yeah. It's Taha? Uh -huh. Okay. Taha, exotic is what? Exotic means strange plants. Uh, it modifies plants, the noun. So it's what? Uh, uh, adjective. Perfect. Streamer Adam, inside. Inside without any word after it. Huh? It's what? Neither. No, neither if there is a word after it because it will act as a preposition, like inside the house. But inside without anything after it, it's... Adverb. Okay. Uh, engineer Tahan, take care. Take care. Today, it's what? Neither. Neither. Why? It must be an adverb. No, but here today act as a subject. Today is. Today is. So it's a subject. So neither. Thank you. Adam, best day. Best day. Best is what? Adverb. How oh, yeah, Adam. Best year described day and day is a noun. It's adjective, yeah, Adam. Adam in Arabic. Now, the word, the and then a noun or pronoun. The الكلمة اللي قبلها the adjective. Best day. Best day. Nice day. Interesting day. So adjective. Okay, engineer Tom. Rarely bloom. Rarely is what? Adjective. Wrong. Bloom is a verb. Bloom is a verb. Uh, sorry, sorry, I meant adverb. Okay, streamer Adam again. Also, also display. Also display. Also is what? Okay. Adverb. Many plants. Many plants, Engineer Taha. Many plants. 
Neither. How? How many plants? Many plants. Uh, adjective. Take care. Neither. If it's not going to act as an adjective or adverb. If it modify a noun or pronoun, it's an adjective. If it modify a verb or another ad another adverb or an adjective, it's an adverb. Okay. Streamer Adam, take care. Outside, inside. Mm -hmm. But just wait, just wait. Inside here, nothing come after it. So we call it adverb. But outside the greenhouses. It acts in, as a prepositional phrase. Excellent. So it's neither. Perfect. Okay. Junior Ta again. Tulip colorful. So colorful, modify tulips. Object. Again, it's like outside. Streamer Adam, look here. Before the roses. Before the roses. It's neither. Perfect. Okay. Determine that whether the underlying word is an adjective or an adverb. And identify the type of word it modifies. Engineer Taha, very. It's what and modify what? You have to decide first. Very is an adverb or adjective. Then you find it modify what? Engineer Taha. Uh... Very is what first? Adverb. Bravo. So it adverb modify an adjective or adverb modify a verb. Adjective. Bravo. It modify popular, very popular, perfect. Streamer Adam Irish. It's an adjective or adverb. Adjective. Perfect. It adjective modify a noun or adjective modify a pronoun. No. Perfect. Are songs that modify the noun? Thank you. Now, streamer ad, uh, I'm sorry, engineer Taha. Rather beautifully, rather, or things rather beautifully. Rather here, it's an adverb or adjective. Take care, you have three adverbs. Uh, adverb modifying another adverb. Perfect, perfect. Rather modify beautifully, and beautifully modify things. Beautifully modified the verb thing. Thank you. Streamer Adam. Young. It's adjective or adverb? It's an adjective. Perfect. It's an adjective modify a noun or adjective modify a pronoun? A pronoun. Pronoun. Because modify she. Perfect. The last one. Streamer Adam. Tomorrow. It's easy. It's adjective or adverb? It's uh... adverb. 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 Modify a verb or adverb modify an adjective? Uh, verb. Perfect. Tomorrow modify will perform. When? He will perform tomorrow. Perfect. That was part three. No, this is not with us, as we said. Okay. Let me search for something that you're going to solve only about modifier before entering to dangling and misplaced modifier. We're going to find now who remember everything about modifier. Uh, the problem that he brought for me with her misplaced and dangling. Let's find I need only modifiers. Oh, I need quizzes only. Uh, okay. Okay, you're going to tell me it's an adjective or an adverb. 
I choose the correct sentence. No, this is dangling modifier and misplaced. I need something that's so uh, hard. This grade six here. Uh, grade six till eight. Okay. No, this misplaced modifier. Dangling, dangling, misplaced. So I'm sorry. I'm going to go to this one. Find the advent distance. Uh, okay. Yes. Let's play this one. It's about adjective and adverb. I'm going to send you the link on the chat box. Okay, I have sent it. Kindly join. Okay, you have Engineer Taha waiting for streamer Adam. Streamer Adam, are you here? Okay, let's start. Take care. I'm talking only about modifier. No dangling or misplaced. No dangling or misplaced. I didn't start dangling and misplaced. Take care. If you ask you about it's an adjective, an adverb, you have to just differentiate between the adjective and the adverb. I see that you are solving. No one got wrong. Alhamdulillah. Take care of the difference between adjective and adverb. The adjective modify a noun or a pronoun. The adverb modify a verb, an adverb, another adverb, or an adjective. Alhamdulillah, no mistakes till now. Okay, perfect. Till now, no mistakes. You are answering. You are on the try track.
Okay, the first mistake for Taha, no problem. Okay, no problem. Also, Adam. Okay, Taha is done. We're waiting for streamer Adam just to finish. The last question, streamer Adam. Okay, perfect, both of you. Let's fight now to the questions. So, which word or phrase does the underlined word refer to? I'm so grateful that I can never find my keys. Take care that so it's a kind, it's an adverb that modify an adjective, forgetful. And you get it right. Find the adverb in this sentence. I'm very excited to see the play. Very, it's an adverb that modify excited, that it's an adjective. Which word or phrase does the underlined word refer to? I'm only giving you a second free sample because you asked nicely. Nicely, it's an adverb that modify asked. Find the adverb in this sentence. The creaky, I need the adverb. The creaky old house loomed spookily. Spookily, the adverb that modify loom the verb. Creaky, old, are adjectives that modify house. Which word or phrase does the underlined word refer to? The buffalo, ambled word, us, slowly. Slowly, it's an adverb that modify ample, the verb. Again, which word or phrase does the underlined word describe? The peaceful chirping of the birds made me smile. 
So here, peaceful is an adjective that modifies chirping. Find the adjective in this sentence. I cut the carrots with a sharp knife. Sharp, it's an adjective that modify knife. Which word or phrase does the underlying word describe? How do you like your coffee? But being hot. So hot here, it describes the coffee. Hot here describes the coffee. So hot is an adjective. Which one of these options complete the sentence in a way that makes the most sense? Letting go of the top of the rock wall, as you can find here. Here he mentioned, we can just read the rope held him up because we need an adverb. We need an ad adverb. Uh, I'm sorry. Here is not an adverb. Here is talk about the dangling and misplaced modifier. Here, letting, letting end with ing. So it must modify what come after the comma. So it describe he, not the rope. Letting go on the top of the rock wall. Letting modify he, not the rope. Which one of these options complete the sentence in a way that makes the most sense? After finishing the histos, uh, unfortunately, he brought for you. Dangling and misplaced modifier. Finishing. So who the one that finished? Who the one that finished? He said his toes. I have Marvin and I have Jill. So both of them can be. Now depend on the meaning. Marvin went outside or Jill told him to go outside. No, it's better. After finishing his toes, Marvin went outside. Which one of these options could be the sentence in a way again? Out of honey, crunch cereal. Okay. Out of honey, crunch cereal. I have also to modify something that come up to the comma. Out of honey crunch cereal. Oatmeal was the best alternative. Or I decided. Oatmeal was the best alternative. Who decided? I. So this is the right answer. Despite that I'm with. Out of honey crunch cereal. Out of honey. So who is out of honey? I. Not the oatmeal. Yes. I. Which one of these options could be the sentence in a way that makes the most sense? Ticking faster and fast each day. Who's ticking? Who's ticking? Not I. It's the clock. After having eaten a handful of jalapenos. Who having eat? Who the one that eat? Having. Note my tongue. It must be I. These are all tangling modifier. Listening to music while walking home. Who is listening? I or or shout because here my friends has apostrophe s, so it's not the main word. So so it's not gonna be shout. It's gonna be I. Did not notice my friend trying to get my attention. Tripping over rock. Who the one that tripping? Don't tell me cocky. It must be I. I dropped my cocky on the ground. Okay, perfect, guys. Now let's return back to the dang. Even you answered the, the dangling modifier, but let's see here more dangling and misplaced modifier interaction. Okay, misplaced and dangling modifier. We're going to explain in more details. We watched the video for it, but let's find. What is a misplaced modifier? That's the first thing. Misplaced modifier. As I told you, that modifier describe other words or change their meaning. They include words, phrases, and clauses that function as adjectives. Function as adjective, mainly adjective. Modifying an animal pronoun. They also include words, phrases, and clothes that function as an adverb. That modify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. What is the misplaced modifier? The misplaced modifier is in an, is in an incorrect place in a sentence, so it seems to modify the wrong word. Modifiers of all types, words, phrases, or clothes can be misplaced. To correct the problem, 
all you usually need to do is to move the modifier to a clearer position. Close to the word it modified. Sometimes you may need to shift to other words or reword the sentence slightly. Let's find this one. Here he told us the restaurant serves a cold bowl of soup on hot days. Okay. If you're going to look here, you're going to find the cold, the cold, modify bowl or modify the soup. The soap, I'm, uh, the soup, I'm sorry. Here, the problem. The cold, modify the bowl or the soup. It must be modify, huh? Modify moving cold closer to soup. So here, is the soup cold or is the bowl cold? Because if it's placement, the adjective so, uh, cold seem to modify the noun bowl, and it's wrong. Note the noun soup. So the correct one to get it clearer or nearer to soup. The same thing here. Maya only arrived yesterday. So she didn't do anything except she arrived. Except she arrived. So only here is misplaced. It's an adverb. It must be before yesterday because she arrived only yesterday. Like for the phrases. The man tripped on a rock running across the bridge. If you're going to look here, running across the bridge, modify rock. And it must modify the man, not the rock. So because of that, it's misplaced. So it must be written like that. Running across the bridge, the man. Again. Becky heard that Mr. Lee had resigned upon her arrival. Upon her arrival now, modify resign. Resign, the verb. So it acts as an adverb. And actually, it must modify Becky. Upon her arrival, Becky. At the close, Ada bought a new toy for the baby that was called Happy Rabbit. Take care. So that was called Hobby Rabbit, modify the baby. So this is name. And actually, the toy that is called Hobby Rabbit. So we must put it after the toy. So we make reorder. Add about the baby a new toy that was called Hobby Rabbit. Again here, the guest heard the dogs barking while they were sitting inside. While they were sitting inside now, modify dogs. And they must actually modify guests. So while sitting inside, it must be the guest heard the dogs barking. Let's look at part two. This four misplaced. What about the angle modifier? A dangling modifier seems to modify the wrong word or no word at all. Because the word it should modify has been left out of the sentence. Most dangling modifiers are phrases or clauses. At the beginning of the sentence, as I told you, participial. That come in the beginning of the sentence. That end with E-N, I-N-G, or E-D. Usually with a comma after them. The simplest way to correct a dangling modifier is usually to add the missing word that the modifier support to modify after the comma. Like here, what you're going to do, place the missing word close to the modifier and move other words in the sentence if necessary. Sometimes you can also correct the dangling modifier by turning it into complete clause with a clear subject and verb. Let's look here. The dangling modifier that seems to modify a wrong word. Sitting on the beach. Sun? How the sun sitting on the beach? It must be something else because of that he said. Sitting on the beach, we feel the hot sun. Or you can say, when we were sitting on the beach, the sun felt hot. Look another one. While sailing under the bridge, while sailing under the bridge, who is sailing or what is sailing? Don't, me, don't tell me school. Don't tell me school. It must be something that's sailing. So while sailing under the bridge, we cited a school of parts. Dangling modifier that seem to modify nothing without having references. Who is having references? Getting a job. How? How getting a job that modify? By without having references. No, it must be the senior. So we add. Without having references, the senior. To cross the river, the bridge told. Who's crossing the river? Don't tell me the bridge. So to cross the river, drivers. It's an easy lesson that doesn't take five minutes. Let's now solve together. Streamer Adam. In each sentence, in each item, identify the sentence in which underlying modifier is correctly placed. Correct. 
I need that the underlying modifier is correct in its place. Which one? Okay. The captain of the submarine saw an island looking through the periscope. Looking through the periscope, the captain of the submarine saw an island. The captain of the submarine looking through the periscope saw an island. Which one is right? Which one that doesn't have dangling modifier or misplaced modifier? I think it can be B or C. It's one of them. Which one? I see the two are right. <laughs> no. Looking through the periscope, describe submarine. Of a submarine with two boss of the periscope. But here, looking through the periscope, the captain. Yes, the captain can look through the periscope. Take care. It, 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 says, yeah, it says as a one sentence, the captain of the submarine. So... I think but looking through the periscope carrying... come after submarine, not before captain or after captain. So it's as misplaced modifier here. Mm. Okay. okay. Uh engineer Taha, which one is right here? Take care of the underline. The visitor gave a lecture on ferocious wild animals in our science class. Uh, this is wrong. The first one is wrong? Yes. Okay. The visitor gave a lecture in our science class on ferocious wild animals. I think it's also wrong. Okay. In our science class, the visitor gave a lecture on ferocious wild animals. Uh, yes, this is correct. I'm not going to say right or wrong. I'm going to keep till the end this time. Streamer Adam. Number three. Greek playwrights wrote uh, many dramas in ancient time, times that have not survived. In ancient times, many dramas were written by Greek playwrights that have not survived. Greek playwrights in ancient uh, time wrote many dramas that have not survived. Which one is right? C. Let's find at the end. So now you said that the dramas that have not survived. Let's find now is uh, Engineer Taha. Which one is right? The store sells ugly children pajamas. The store sells pajamas for children that are ugly. The store sells ugly pajamas for children. Uh, I think C. So now you said that ugly modify pajamas. Okay, the last one is Streamer Adam to find that your answer is right or wrong. All of you. The director discussed with the studio executive a new film about survival. The director discussed a new film about survival with studio executives. The director discussed a new film with the studio executives about survival. Which one is right? A. Let's find that your answer is right or wrong. This, all of you are right. Let's just look at them. We explain this. Here in our science class, the visitor gave a lecture on ferocious wild animals. So the lecture is about ferocious wild animals. We can't say a lecture in our science class. 
We can say animals in our science class here. Greek playwright in ancient times wrote many dramas that have not survived. So that have not survived, talk about the dramas. We are not talking about the Greek playwrights. We're not talking about ancient times. The same thing. Ugly modified pajamas. Not the children. Okay, and here it comes before children also. So it's wrong. The same thing here. Here the director discussed with studio executives. Discussed with the studio executives. With the studio executive here, doesn't describe survival. With the studio executive, doesn't describe film. Well, perfect, guys. Part two. In each item, identify the sentence that doesn't contain. Again, I need something that is right. Is right. Doesn't contain any dangling modifier. This is a little bit harder. Let's start with Engineer Tah. Carrying a long list, shopping will take hours. Carrying a long list, it will take hours to shop. Carrying a long list, Cayman will take hours to shop. Which one doesn't have a dangling modifier? Uh... A. So carrying a long list modify shopping. Who's carrying a long list? Carmen. The care. This is the only one like Adam. I give you a chance like Adam last time. Number two, Adam. Without any milk, the taste will be terrible. Without any milk, the Oatmeal will taste terrible. Without any milk, you will not like the taste. The care without any milk. Modify what after the cum? The oatmeal. We're going to find at the end. Okay. Engineer Tah. While playing in the band, modify what? While playing in the band, the turning posts broke my guitar strings. While playing in the band, my guitar strings broke on the tuning posts. While I was playing in, in the band, my guitar strings broke on the tuning posts. Uh, B. Number three, streamer Adam. To enjoy a beach vacation, you need good weather. To enjoy a beach vacation, good weather is needed. To enjoy a beach vacation needs good weather. Which one is right? A. Okay. Engineer Taz, the last one. After surviving all the tests, we felt certain of the vehicle's safety. After the vehicle survived all the tests, we felt certain of its safety. After surviving all the tests, the vehicle's safety seemed certain. Uh, see. Many mistake. The first one I explained for you. The second one. Without any milk, yes, it modify oatmeal. Without any milk, it will not modify taste. Without any milk, it will not modify you. The same thing here. While playing in the band, the post... How while in playing? Who is playing? It's not the posts. The same thing. It's not the guitar. It's the one that playing. Engineer Taha. But while I was playing in the band, now he modified, he just corrected. My guitar strings broke on the turning post. So while I was playing. That was right. 
to enjoy a beach vacation, you. To enjoy a beach vacation, good weather, weather, no. To enjoy a beach, who is going to just enjoy? The same thing in Janir Tong. After surviving all the tests, after surviving all the tests, we felt certain of the vehicle safety. Yes, who survived? We. After the vehicle survived all the tests we felt, after the vehicle survived, how the vehicle survived? After surviving all the tests, the safety, no, it must be a clear. Yes. Please. Apply it. Let's start again. Which sentence doesn't contain any misplaced or dangling modifier? Again, I need a sentence that doesn't have any problem in misplaced or dangling modifier. Who's there? I think streamer Adam. Yeah. We often see human birds in our garden looking out the window. Looking out the window, we often see human birds in our garden. We often see human birds looking out the window in our garden. B. Looking out the window, we see often see hummingbirds in our garden, maybe. Engineer Ta. To obtain a passport, a fee must be paid to the government. To obtain a passport, the government charges a fee. To obtain a passport, a citizen must pay a fee to the government. Think about who must obtain the passport to find it after the comma. See. Who must get the passport? Okay. Streamer Adam. While driving down the highway, a deer side swiped his fender. While driving down the highway, his fender was side swiped by a deer. While he was driving down the highway, a deer side swiped his fender. Who is driving down the highway? What does it mean, fender? Did the park in front of the car. Okay. C. Okay, Engineer Taha. After taking a long walk, the park bench offered the shady resting spot. The park bench offered the shady resting spot after taking a long walk. After taking a long walk, we found that the park bench offered the shady resting spot. See. Okay, Adam, the last one. The store sells gold men's watches. The store sells watches for men that are made of gold. The store sells gold watches for men. The problem in gold. Yeah. Gold must modify what? Watches. So which one? C. Perfect. So here, looking out the window, describe or modify we. Here, looking at the way out the window, modify guardian. That is wrong. Here, looking out of the window, modify hummingbird. That is wrong. Here. To obtain a passport, a citizen. Who's going to obtain the citizen? Not fee, not government. Here. While driving down the highway, deer. Who's driving? No, the deer. No, the fender. It must be he. While he was driving down the highway. After taking a long walk. No, the park bench. No, the bench that was sitting on it. Talking, taking a long walk. It's not the spot, but after taking a long walk, we, yes, here. The store sells gold watches. Here, gold, as you can find, it modify men. Also, here, gold modify men. That is wrong. Perfect, guys. The last part. Again, for each item, choose the revision that has no misplaced or dang modifier. If the sentence is correct as it is, it shows no correction is needed. Like if we find that this sentence is correct, make no correction is needed. 
If you read and you find that there is a problem, you choose the one that is right. We're going to start with, with the turn right now. Uh -huh. Okay, Engineer Tah. Shipping department said on Monday we would receive the delivery. Is it right? Or are you going to choose any version from A or B? Uh, B. Okay, let's find. Again, a streamer Adam. During the auction, the scarf was bought by John Winters, who recently became the town's mayor for $20. I think the problem is for $20. Mm. Me. Okay, let's find at the end. Junior talk. The police narrowed down their list of the su suspects who could have committed the crime by a process of elimination. I think also the problem here in who have who could have committed the crime but the process of elimination. Ordered the by the process of elimination, yes. B. What? B. Okay. Number four, streamer Adam. Racing to catch the train, I dropped my suitcase, which flew open on the platform. The problem here in racing to catch the train. A. A? Yes. Yeah. Okay, number five, Engineer Taha. On entering the doctor's office, the number of patients ahead of Pat was upsetting. A. Okay, we have some mistakes. Let's look at the first one. The shipping department said we could receive a delivery on Monday. If you're going to look here, the first one, the first one, the shipping department, the shipping department said on Monday, on Monday, we would receive the delivery. The problem that on Monday, modify said, on Monday, modify said, and it's wrong. The same thing here. On Monday, modify said, and it's wrong. But it must, on Monday, modify the receiving of the delivery. When? On Monday. So receive a delivery on Monday. Here, it's right. Also, during the auction, uh, the problem in the $20. The problem in $20. It must be described as car. Not, if you look here, here whom the town recently elected mayor, this is extra. An essential phrase or clothes. So for twenty dollars, modify winters. No, it's wrong. It doesn't modify a man. Okay. Here also for twenty dollars, modify winter. The same mistake. Number three. And they told you that the problem in by a process of elimination. If you look here, the police narrowed down their list of the suspects who could have committed the crime by a process of elimination. By a process of elimination, now describe crime. That it's wrong. Here, by a process of elimination, who who you the process of elimination? The police. Yeah, he's right. Here also, by a process, where is it? By a process of elimination, modify the suspect. Not the suspect that make the process of elimination. The same thing here. Racing to catch the train. I. Yeah, it's right. No correction is needed. Who raced to catch the train? I. Not the suitcase, Adam. 
Look the suitcase. Look here. Both of them are wrong. Reason to get the train the suitcase is wrong. On entering doctor office, the, the number is wrong because who is entering? No number. It can be Pat who entered, not it. Okay. Let's now go to some misplaced and dang modifier exercise. Okay, misplaced and dangling modifiers. Or grade nine. Okay, I need quizzes only. For grade nine till 12. Okay, there are 10 questions. Six to eight. Okay, let's take the, the easiest one. Not the easiest, but the least amount of things. Click on the link and join, please. No way this open. Okay. I have both of you right now. Let's start. This misplace and then the modifier. Take care. Misplaced and dangling modifier. The care not from the beginning, streamer Adam. Hmm? They are doing well. Mm -hmm. Take care of the dangling misplays. The phrase, the clothes, the word, it must be come next to the word that it modifies.
Okay, engineer task done. Waiting for streamer Adam. Okay, waiting for you, streamer Adam. I think the last question. Okay, let's find what are the mistakes that we are in As you can find here, which sentence had the correctly placed modifier and is grammatically correct? I made nearly $50 today. So nearly here, modify $50. Here, nearly modify made. So he didn't, it's like only. It's made like only. I only made $50, so he didn't. I only made, so he didn't do anything except made. But here... Nearly modify fifty dollars, not one hundred, not five. The same thing here. When we opened the women's leather berth, we found the missing keys. Here we don't find any problem. Why? Because here leather modify birth. But here leather means modify woman. That it's wrong. Leather is the woman is not leather, it's not made of leather. The same thing, only, I have only five minutes. So only modify five minutes. Not I only have, so I only make, I only eat. No, only for five minutes. Wearing, wearing only light shirts and shorts. Who is wearing? We, we. But here, wearing only light shirts and shorts, modify for us. It's wrong. The same thing here. The fans stood in line for 20 minutes. So who stood in, in line for 20 minutes? The fans. Here, if you're going to look, you find that for 20 minutes, modify show that it's wrong. We gave the old clothes that had been piled up in the basement to the local charity. So had that have been piled up, that have been piled up in the basement, modify clothes, not modify charity. After the movie, we ate Mexican food that was very spicy. So that was very spicy. Modify the Mexican food, not the movie. Leaving quickly. Who is leaving quickly? I. 
not life. To complete a degree in anthropology, who is going to complete the student? Not at the history courses. After I explained that I had lost my wallet, the waiter. So I explained to whom, after you can find here, after I explained, after I explained that, so I'm the one that explained. Here, explaining that I had lost, who is explaining? No, the waiter. No, the waiter, the one that is explaining. I'm the one that explained for him. Okay. Uh, the other four lessons, actually, it can be in one period. The only thing that was harder is the modifier. Any question regarding the modifier? No, thanks. Engineer Taha, any question related to the modifier? No. Okay. Uh, on Saturday... Uh, do you have any let me just stop recording